History is an important part of learning in Ohio. When history is taught, it can be difficult for students to make connections between the past and the present. To help students relate to what they're learning in class, educators can incorporate place-based local history projects into the classroom. Through these projects, students can learn about local connections to the past so they can experience its impact in the present. Using local history in the classroom can be really impactful for students, particularly students that are used to hearing certain stories about their community, maybe from people who haven't been a part of that community. So local history can really help students understand the very real issues that they're experiencing and witnessing in their community, put them into historical perspective, and then maybe start to build a sense of identity around what it means for them to be a member of their community. Place-based history is a really great way to get students to, com to connect with a community. Uh, you know, after being in a classroom for a lot of years, students often think, important things and interesting things always happen someplace else and they don't realize that you know their community whether it's in rural southern ohio or any place else that there's you know there's, there's really important things that have happened and people that have traveled through there first let's talk about what we mean by place-based learning according to the center for place-based learning and community engagement Place-based education immerses students in local heritage, cultures, landscapes, opportunities, and experiences, using these as a foundation for the study of language arts, mathematics, social studies, science, and other subjects across the curriculum. It emphasizes learning through participation in service projects for the local school and or community. Place-based projects can boost student engagement by creating a sense of personal effectiveness as stewards of their local community, forge strong ties between local organizations, their schools, and the community, and help students make tangible contributions to resolving local issues, all while teaching state educational standards. The principles of a successful place-based project can include learning that is on-site in the schoolyard and in the local community and environment, focused on local themes, systems, and content, personally relevant to the learner, contributing to the community's vitality, supported by strong and varied partnerships with local organizations, agencies, businesses, and government, interdisciplinary, tailored to the local audience, grounded in and supports the development of a love for one's place, serving as the foundation for understanding and participating appropriately in regional and global issues. Local history can really be used as a microcosm to add a more personal look at larger national and international events and show how those events affected the lives of everyday people. You can learn about World War II or you can learn about how World War II affected your community. Who were the people who served? How did it affect those who they left behind? You know, that's a great way for students to understand that history doesn't happen somewhere else. It happens here, we're all a part of it. It's the grouping of stories and we're all a part of that story. I think students also are better able to identify with things when they can see it you know, uh, up close. It's one thing in a textbook, whether it's digital or, you know, the old hard books, but it's, it's a whole different thing when you can go out, whether it's a local cemetery or a building or a church and say, hey, you know what? This was part of the Underground Railroad. This was, you know, there was a, a famous uh, Civil War veteran who's buried in this cemetery. Uh, you know, those are things that, that students, I, I think, really identify with. And this place-based concept can be applied to any age group or any historical topic. Teachers can use place-based history to teach about the impact of particular people or certain events like wars, but can also use the concept to teach students about more abstract history, like social movements and how people in their community participated. You think of women's suffrage, you think of um, the anti-slavery abolition movement. You think about unions and the workers' rights movements. I mean, you think of all of these movements and people in Ohio have been doing those things. We've all been looking out for each other in order to make things better for our community. We documented the Underground Railroad homes and stations in our community. And what was neat about that was lots of times people, it's every old house is on the Underground Railroad. 
people would just generically say, oh, that's an old house. That was part of the Underground Railroad. And, and my students through their research figured out that there was really almost kind of a profile of, you know, generally in our community, you were Presbyterian. Uh, you know, there were these certain factors that, that kind of led into it. And, and it was really, it really became almost using a, almost scientific method. And being able to leave the classroom and allow students to experience local history for themselves can be tremendously impactful. Local history is something that can be difficult to find in big box publishing textbooks. In order to really have students understand local history, you need to go into local historical societies, your local libraries, because those are the places that are going to have the primary sources about what was going on in your community. And so visiting the places that hold these records is important and just as important as having the opportunity to physically be in the places. I really think that, you know, I can learn things from books, I can watch things in documentaries, but none of that really takes the place of physically being somewhere where something important happened. You can't compare the experience of actually seeing something, and this is the power of place, um, to reading about it in a book. I might not be able to go to the World War II Museum in New Orleans, but I could go maybe to a war veteran memorial that's outside of my county courthouse. And in some cases, when students learn about what happened in their community's past, it inspires them to take action in the present. I think students really have a drive for to do what is right and to right wrongs and injustices that they see. And with a local history project, they can they actually can affect real change. You know, you might think of something in like a national or global perspective and you're like, how can what I do make a difference? But in a local history context, you can make a huge difference in your local community. Place-based local history projects teach students about the past while connecting them to their local community. It makes history something they can reach out and touch and helps them to understand that the people of their community and every community had an important role in shaping the present. To learn more about place-based learning, visit promiseofplace.org.